Welcome back to Kentucky Route Zero. We've just left the simulation, or whatever that was, of Xanadu. And Xanadu foretold that Lula would show up. And what do you know, Lula is here. One of the three architects of Xanadu. Lula to Donald. You really did go deeper into the caves. Well, you're easy enough to find. I've met a few of your former assistants. One can't help but hear things. So, this is what became of our project. Oh, I've made some additions. Joseph stole the data tapes for the first half, so I've had some blank spots to fill. Joseph stole the data tapes for the first half. Why did Joseph do that? Is that the tapes that Lula said they would make some recordings and come back with? The data tapes? I don't know what that means, though, for the first half of what? Yes, I know. He published his version, actually. I'm sorry to report that it's a bit tediously sentimental. We've been looking for you. So you found the address data? Just pass it over to Donald here. Donald, will you be a deer and crunch these numbers? We're looking to sort out a street name collision. Dogwood Drive. Wasn't the Bureau going to process it? I insist. I have cycles to spare. I'll just pack my pipe and get to it. I should only be an hour or so. Andrew will carry it over to... I'll be at the Bureau for the rest of the night, just to market private materials for the attention of Senior Clerk Chamberlain. How do we get to the Bureau from here? The bridge. Yes, the bridge. Through the gate over there. Now we, too, recede into history. Good to... Uh, good night, Donald. To Shannon. Meet me at the Bureau, and we'll get you on your way. Head counterclockwise to the cathode ray, then turn around. Then it's just clockwise until you find the Bureau. Between us, I think you should drive. Yeah, let's let Shannon drive. You know, side effects from the neuropnol and all that. Ah. It opens now. The gate is open. A hiking backpack leans against a rock. It's full of empty wine bottles and library books. What is happening? Why are we seeing them again? Someone has left a portable tape recorder on the path. It doesn't appear damaged, but there's no tape to play or record. A bookshelf was carried only partway up the path here before the project was abandoned. It's still useful. The peak of the spire is crowded anyway. A sensible modern electric lantern has been left here. The batteries have long since died. 
just like the sensible electric lantern that we used in Xanadu. So how did the truck get to the other side? Thanks for waiting, Blue. What have you been doing? Keeping Johnny here company? What happened up there? I'm actually not sure. Very mysterious, ma'am. Alright. Let's go, I guess. Okay, now what did that say? From the hall, head counterclockwise to the cathode ray, then turn around. Okay. Oh, here's a cathode ray. I'm just curious though, what if I didn't turn around? Like, what if, what if I just kept going? Oh, it's just going to loop around. Wait, whoa, 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 what was that? I think it's going to loop around, but... Children? About a dozen children are gathered in a shallow, dry basin to the side of the road. They're seated on overturned pots and pans arranged in three configurations. One group of five children are clustered to the right. One group are arranged loosely in the center. All facing an older girl who sits on three pans stacked together. The boy at the head of the arrangement looks sternly down on another child. A younger boy kneeled on the stone floor without a pot to sit on. A spare stock pot, perhaps belonging to the younger boy, is set to the side. Let's stand next to the younger boy. The older girl not solemnly to Ezra. The older girl takes a wide green leaf from the floor next to her and pretends to read off a list of charges. The younger child is accused of making agreements for trading card exchanges which has not, which he has not been able to honor. The judge asks for a witness to testify. The boy describes the participants and events depicted on the trading card he was to receive and makes related claims about the defendant's nature. Ezra is prompted to argue on behalf of his client. Claim prejudice. The judge considers the facts and declares a mistrial. The groups of children reconfigure themselves and a new trial begins with the former defendant, now as judge. <laughs> Wait, what is... What is this? Lost? It's no shame. I'll take over. Uh, I'm fine. The lantern. A sensible, modern electric lantern. Okay, now we're back to the Hall of the Mountain King. Turn around. Then we should hit it at some point. The sprocket. The anchor.
Ah. The Bureau. This is a really long act. Hey, you see that cat over there? Oh yeah, the cat's still there. I still wonder if that Joseph's cat. Think she'd eat some bread? Nah. Well, more for you then, Blue. Oh, no, actually, no. Maybe we should leave a crust or two behind and she'll go for it when she's comfortable. Not sure if we actually need to ask reception. Oh, Lula. Hey there. Here you are. Marianne has the rest of the evening off, so I'm minding the desk. Any word on the address? The results just came in by courier. Good news. Donald and his assistants were able to sort through the noise. I had Rick cross-reference the results against some of our records. He found a corresponding mail stop on the Echo River route. As it happens, the night ferry is scheduled to make its stop here shortly. The ferryman carries the mail and collects the garbage as well. I'm sure you can catch a ride out that way. You're welcome to wait here. I have to get back to packing. Packing? Are you going somewhere? I might. I'm feeling impulsive and I'd like to be ready. Maybe back to Mexico? It's been years. They still have one of my sculptures in a museum down there, did you know? Big, ugly, iron thing. Time to have it scrapped anyway. Safe travels. Try to stay out of the water. It's colder than it looks, and deep. Goodbye, Lula. Before I go, however... I just want to check one thing. Except... Oh, I can't. I can't go back here anymore, can I? Nope. I was going to see if the bears were still there. <laughs> on floor 3 or 4 or 5 or whatever they were. Alright. Let's wait. How long do we have to wait? Oh, who knows. Alright, what happened? Uh, what? In the church, at the graveyard. You two came out of there all weird. What happened? Yes, please, dear God, tell me what happened. I really want to know that. It's okay. You can tell them. It doesn't matter anymore. Fine. I hope this is going to launch into a uh, an actual like scene that we can play. I think it might. So, we were in that graveyard. Yes, is it doing it? Yes, it's doing it! I must know. Where the strangers come from. Okay, so same scene as before, but obviously now we're playing as Conway and Shannon. Can't be right, looks like an old church, it's muddy, same as before. Ezra wants to stay outside. Okay. What happened in here? It's all broken.
The church floor is cold metal, scuffed in flecks by unknown boot heels. A handmade apparatus for the production of moonshine, assembled from scavenged metal and natural materials. I love this slow pan around this church. So cool looking. What a moody place. Okay, I guess we gotta sit. I don't know what I expected. The strangers, he kept saying. Kind of vague already, isn't it? Donald's a stranger. Hell, you and I are practically strangers. Listen. Earlier, in the mine, I didn't want to talk about it, but... What did you find down there? When I saw Weaver, she was on TV. I was testing a pretty simple tube repair, flipping through channels to check the saturation, and she was just there. It was kind of horrible. I mean, I told you she disappeared. Suddenly, ran away. But we thought... You thought she was dead? Yeah. I guess I don't like to say it. Dead. And then, the next time I flipped to channel 2, Weaver. It's burned in my vision now. She's standing in a room. The walls are a blank kind of gray. There's tape on the walls, like markings and desks. A classroom? Maybe? The camera is in the corner, so it's this sort of 45 degree angle into the room, and there's a weaver right in the center of the picture. I stop turning the dial. Hell, I think I stopped breathing. Eventually she spoke, but there was no real sound, just this awful hum. I read the closed captions. She said to go to the mine. I'd find something there. I can't remember her exact words. Whenever I try, I get... distracted. Fuzzy. I... Shannon coughs into her sleeve. It's so dusty in here, right? <laughs> Such as that. Just got distracted. Strange. So strange and fascinating. Yeah, real dusty. You'd think, with all these holes in the ceiling... What the hell was that? Did you hear that? We should check outside. What? Oh. What? One of them! One of the strangers! Oh, whoa, I'm playing as the stranger? And again, Conway's leg is exactly like a stranger's leg. What, what do they have on them? Stranger has something on them that, like, swings when they walk. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know, like a little bag or a purse or a satchel? I don't know. The stranger activates the tape player slung... Oh, on his shoulder, that's what it is. A crackly drawl echoes in the room. It is patient and sounds like it should be smiling. So the strangers seem to communicate through tapes. That's what they tried to communicate through in the... I was going to say the story in Xanadu, but I mean it's not just a story, it's obviously what actually happened in the... in the events that Xanadu described. Remember that one of them tried to activate something to communicate? But then it, I guess it didn't work and just 
outputted a weird noise. Do little. My regrets. I hope I didn't keep you waiting long. We don't see a lot of foot traffic these days. Okay, well this one communicates just fine. I guess you're here about the job. I'm afraid we only have one opening at the moment. Horrible business. <laughs> what the hell? What's this job? Certainly, I'll tell you everything you need to know. I've only just met you, but I feel certain there's a place for you here. I'll just take you over to meet the dispatcher. Show you the trucks. Get you familiarized. The trucks. We can converse as we go. Dispatcher and trucks? I, I mean... A trucking company? To Conway? What is this place? Some kind of factory? Yeah, maybe. But for what? Why hidden away like this? And what's that smell? Like... Bread? Baking bread? Please, follow me. I'm so fascinated. Whoa, what's this? That's the degauss icon, right? <laughs> There's... Well, some more strangers, some more crystalline figures, but also some more people like us. I was just trying to see if I could recognize any of them. I, I can't. Certainly not from the back of back of them. I have to ask you to step in here a moment. This is for your safety, and adjust your outfits just a bit. There's some protective headwear up on the wall back there. Please remove your shoes and eyeglasses. We don't wear glasses. So that won't be an issue. That's weird, though, that they mentioned it if we don't wear glasses. Well, do us a favor and put on the headwear anyway. Just this way. Uh, Conway, you coming? <laughs> so cool looking. There you are, Conway. These figures are... They're so dim. They weren't this dim before, were they? Especially not this one over here. You can barely see them now. It's odd. And that one looks like it's napping. Actually, all of these kind of look like they're napping. Earl. This is Earl. He used to be a beekeeper. Borrowed some used casks to store the hives. But the interest accrued more quickly than the honey. Now he works for us here in logistics. Wow, check this stuff out. It must be decades old, but it's in perfect condition. How do you think they keep it like that? Maintenance, old man. I bet it's someone's job around here. Probably hard to keep all the dust out. You know, underground. That's why I got into this business. To keep old stuff like this running. Seems like such a shame to let it just fall into ruin, you know? Like that computer back in the cave. Xanadu. Decades of engineering. Thousands of years of mathematics and philosophy. All petrified into living stone. How could you just let that fall apart? More new arrivals this evening. Plenty to do. Got to relay the formula. The formula? What formula? Eh? Oh, the formula. Changed our lives. 
Once, years ago, we were as prisoners to the intricacies of our debts here. We'd have to account for everything on paper. Compounding interest by hand, reassessing, amortization, and leveraged asset distributions according to nightly merit decay. Then, she stepped out of the dark caves to show us the light of the formula. She had a brilliant grasp of mathematics and a saint-like way of speaking right through the numbers. Oh, they're absolutely talking about Weaver. Remember, Weaver um, left with the strangers and the strangers never returned one night. So, Weaver brought computerization to them? Is, is that it? If they're doing everything by hand, I guess they didn't have computers. I mean, adding adding numbers and doing the book, so to speak, is like one of the most basic uses of a computer you could possibly have. It's just basic number crunching. If they couldn't even do that, then I don't think they even had computers before Weaver. Why are they so... I don't, like... So far they've talked about debt and money quite a lot. I mean, when they introduced that person that used to be a beekeeper, talked about how they, um, like the interest accrued faster than the honey or whatever, and then came to work here. Like, are they obsessed with money for some reason? What? What's going on? Now we just plug our daily numbers into the formula and run it all through the adding machine. We occasionally suffer some surplus drift, but he instructed us on all the necessary adjustments. It was devastating to see our revered mathematician go, but she was needed elsewhere. Her legacy abides. What job are they working? I don't know that it's been settled just yet. You see, sometimes we take on newcomers already in debt to the distillery. The distillery? What is this damn distillery? Sounds like they own the entire freaking world. Sometimes they take on newcomers already in debt to the distillery. So it's like they come here to... What, work in... Like, indentured servitude to the distillery, or what? One of the foremen will find something for them to do. Chip away at their sum until it's all settled. What the hell? That's what I'm doing here. Chipping away. That's what we're all doing. Okay, but then why are there people that are, like, human like us, and people that are, like, crystalline like you? How does that happen? And I'm trying to think, why did they want the mold? Remember, the strangers used to be just like collecting the mold from the machine. But they stopped coming. So unless they found some alternate source, it sounds like they maybe abandoned collecting the mold, but why? Did they start collecting money instead of mold or something, or, or what? Here's the fleet. <laughs> oh, we just use these to get around internally. What do you do here? Oh, I'm a copywriter. Text on bottles and flyers, ad copy, that sort of thing. Discerning shades and heartsick lovers have long known the taste of hard times and held it in favor over all other spirits. That was one of mine. Hard times whiskey. So, the trucks are just east aways in shipping. You can become acquainted with the dispatcher there. Give me a tap on the shoulder if you see something that catches your eye. Always happy to show off the facilities. Sublime machinery. Oh, wait, can we, so can we actually take the shuttle? Yeah, it looks like we can. But let's look around first. Ah, oh, I can't. 
Look at that. Someone just waiting around a running truck. Hmm. Reminds me of Conway. Also, remember when we played a game with Ezra back on the side of the road at the downed tree? Where our car broke down? Or truck, rather. Remember we played that game and we asked Ezra a question. We said, like, what are, what's going to be our mode of transportation in the future? And Ezra said, a new truck. I think we're going to actually drive one of these trucks. But this is what happened in the past, and in the future, obviously, we have the normal truck. So if we do drive it, it's only going to be for a very small amount of time, I guess. Let's go to shipping. 